do you want to quickly walk through the tactics in your longevity toolkit? And then from there, we can go into detail on each of them. Yeah. I mean, I think broadly speaking, there are five buckets of things that we have control over exercise. And you can probably tell my bias is that that's the single most important one. The second in no particular order would be nutrition. So what you eat matters. The third one would be sleep. The fourth would be all of the sort of medications and supplements, drugs. The final bucket would be kind of all the tools that we would have at our disposal to improve our emotional health and well-being. For people in this audience, how can they start to safely exercise while also managing physical limitations? People are less fragile than they believe. I think the, the aspiration should be, what can I do to get as active as possible? So is there a diet that you think is best or does it depend on the individual? So I think there are principles that matter and the principles are not to eat too much and not to eat too little. Sleep is something that you've written a lot, of, a lot about. For both near-term and long-term function of the brain, that sleep is very important. So you can do everything right. You can eat the right diet, you can sleep right, you can exercise, but... If your emotional health is lacking, then it's like you won't live as long? It's possible, but I, th I would say even more than that, regardless of how long you live, if it's, if it's unhappy, why bother? 